Alpaca Trading versus Trading 212. Now, this video is going to be a complete comparison. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, including the pros and cons, the fees, the trading platform, and absolutely everything like that. So, if you are interested in saving hours of your time researching these brokers, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, guys, so as we can see right here, I have Alpaca Trading versus Trading212. Now, if we scroll down, we can see an overall score for both of these brokers. Uh, Alpaca here has a 4.5, and this is actually drawing with Trading212 with another 4.5. Uh, these overall scores should definitely not be taken at face value. Uh, like, they are not weighted at all, so the super important stuff isn't really given priority. So, even though these are drawing, it definitely means that one broker can be better than the other. Anyway, we can see for Alpaca Trading, it says recommended for traders interested in algorithmic stock trading, whereas Trading212 is recommended for equity investors and CFD traders looking for easy to use trading platforms. So if we scroll down here, we can see uh, first of all the fees right here. So if we go ahead and open this up, uh, we can see that these are the stock and ETF fees. So first of all, we start out with Alpaca Trading. Uh, they do offer free stocks in the US, uh, but they don't do anywhere outside of the US. So you can't buy stocks in the UK or Germany. And then Trading212, on the other hand, uh, you can buy stocks in the US, UK and Germany, all three of those markets, and all of them are completely free in terms of fees, so that is very nice to see. Uh, next, we can take a look at Forex. Now, this is not something that Alpaca Trading offer. However, Trading212 do, uh, but, these trading, uh, but these Forex fees, guys, are super expensive, so if you are going to trade Forex, probably not the best idea to do it on either of these platforms. Fund fees, you can see that neither of these brokers offer them. Uh, same with bonds and options and futures. And then CFDs right here. Uh, we can see this is something that Trading212 offer. Um, and look, the S&P 500 and also the Europe 50. These are actually, whoopsie, these are actually pretty cheap. However, with Apple and Vodafone, like the individual CFDs, they're really not cheap, guys, and I would avoid trading them on Trading212. Now, CFDs on Alpaca, they don't exist. You are not able to trade them. And then we can come down here to the non-trading fees. Uh, we can see there's no account fee, no custody fee, no inactivity fee and no withdrawal fee on either of these brokers, which is super nice to see, guys. Uh, I honestly think that these non-trading fees are such a scam. Sadly, so many brokers, like, make you pay them. However, with both of these brokers right here, uh, that is not something you have to do. Next, we can see the deposit and withdrawals right here, and Alpaca Trading has a really low score. So what this already tells me is there's going to be a few methods of payment uh, that you aren't actually able to pay it. Now, surprisingly, guys, with debit and with debit slash credit and also e-wallets unavailable, this is average for, I would say, like eight out of 10 brokers. Like, it's actually pretty rare to have all of these options for transferring money in and out. So that is once again annoying for Alpaca Trading and nice for Trading212. And then on top of that, we also have a withdrawal time of two days compared to trading 212's one day. So guys, Alpaca Trading is definitely not the best or most efficient for uh, deposits and withdrawals, so that is something to keep in mind. And then we can take a look at how easy is it to open an account with both of these brokers. Now we can see pretty similar things right here, guys. Uh, you are fully able to open an account online, so you don't have to go into like a physical broker to do so, which of course is, is to be expected. Secondly is this minimum deposit. Both of these brokers, zero dollars, so once again, very nice for beginners right here, and beginners can start trading for as little as like five to ten dollars. Time to open account is one day for both of these brokers, which is very, very nice, as it means if you do decide on one of these brokers, you can literally sign up and start trading within 24 hours. Finally, we have the required documents here at the bottom, and this is just like very standard stuff, guys, uh, just like your driving license, passport, or some other form of government-issued ID. It actually looks like over here on Trading212, you're also going to need like a bank statement or a utility bill just to prove where you say you live. Now, guys, onto arguably the most important part of any trading broker. This is the actual user interface, the actual trading platform. So let's first of all go for Alpaca Trading right here and take a look at this. Okay, so this is Alpaca Trading right here. 
and uh, honestly guys this reminds me of a crypto exchange like uh, of course it isn't but it really does remind me of one just like the layout the the fact that they have trading view right here which honestly for me the fact that they have trading view is very very nice like i do all of my trading on trading view anyway like even if it's quite strange even if the trading platform has a really nice charting system I will still trade on TradingView just because I think it's that much nicer. Now the fact that they have this already built in is absolutely fantastic and we can see the rest of the trading platform here. So certainly not bad guys but if we pull up Trading212 like this is just one of the best trading platforms in the world. We can see that this is the user interface and you have the watch list here and it, it's going to show all the watch list stocks that you have, uh, top winners, top losers, you can take a look into your portfolio and all of the awesome things like that. We also have a very basic stock chart on this right hand side. And if you will click on the advanced chart down here, it's going to pull up basically a regular charting area where you can draw trend lines, add indicators, basically do what you usually would when you are doing technical analysis, but you can do this all in the trading view app. So out of these brokers, I'm going to say I have to give props to Alpaca for having TradingView built in. However guys, just the rest of the platform, uh, the user interface, it would really be impossible for me not to say that Trading212 has the best platform. Now, the markets and products we've already talked about guys. Uh, at the start of the video when we spoke about fees, we basically went into detail about what they offer and what they don't. But you can see this once again here. Uh, basically, they offer the same things. The Trading212 offer Forex where Alpaca doesn't and Trading212 also offers CFDs. Now onto the research and education, we can see that Alpaca Trading actually has a really nice score here. And we can see that the reason for this is they have like the profile, they have all of the financials down here, which explains why they have such a good score. Trading212 on the other hand, is not as nice, they do have a little bit of details down here. But you can see why they are lacking so far behind in terms of research and education. Now we have the demo accounts down here. And for me anyway guys, I really really like when a broker has a demo account, especially for beginners. If you if you don't have a demo account, right, and you are just trading for like your first time, you're going to lose a lot of money because you have no experience, you basically don't know what you are doing. And it is so easy to lose money in the markets when you don't know what you're doing and you don't have any experience. So demo accounts take this completely out of the equation by giving you like a separate account full of fake money, literally just numbers on a screen, where you can practice trading in real time with this. And as I say, you don't risk any real money. So that is very, very nice to see. And then finally, we have the customer service. Now what you usually find guys, within these cheaper brokers, they usually have shocking customer service, like uh, eToro, Robinhood, and all of the all of the brokers like that have really bad customer service. We can see no phone, no live chat. They have email and no 24/7 availability. So if something does happen to your account, if you have an issue, the only way to get in contact them is via email, which is slow as it is. And then on top of that, they have a terrible customer service score, which honestly, guys, gives me the impression that you're really going to have a hard time getting a solid response from customer service. Whereas Trading212, on the other hand, very, very nice to see. You can't ring them on the phone, but you can go for live chat, email, and they are available 24-7. And then on top of that, guys, just the little cherry on top is a five-star customer service score, which to me, broker choose are like test this out themselves. So to me, this shows that they just have incredible customer service. They actually want to solve your problem and that is very nice and very encouraging to see for a broker to have such a high score. Now taking a look at securities and this is like the final section. We can see that for Alpaca Trading, this is $500,000. Securities up to $500,000. Cash up to $250,000. And then for Trading212, £85,000 for clients under FCA and 20,000 euros for clients under CYSEC or FSC Bulgaria. Now you can read the rest of the security section down here guys, 
but we can basically go up to the top. Uh, that is the end, and I'm going to give my quick opinion on which broker I think is better. Now, for me, this is an absolute no-brainer, guys. Out of these two brokers, I would absolutely go with Trading212. If you're trading stocks right here, they are both free in the US. Plus, with Trading212, you get access to UK and German stocks. The only thing I would say, guys, is if you are wanting to trade Forex, find a different broker because these fees are way too high. And then for CFDs, like you can if you want, however I would say once again that these Apple and Vodafone CFDs are pretty high. Now the reason that I do recommend trading 212 still is the fact that I think probably 90% of you guys watching this video will be trading stocks and ETFs. So like as I say for 90% of you guys and me, this would be very applicable and I would recommend trading 212. They also have like zero non-trading fees, easy to deposit and withdraw. Super easy to open an account, a better trading platform, and then on top of this, incredible customer service. It just all adds up to a very nice trading platform, and out of these two, that's the one I would go with. Anyway guys, that was Alpaca Trading versus Trading212. Now if you learned something from this video, or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button, and until next time guys, take it easy.